This is a walkthrough of Digital Health Atlas uh, from the viewpoint of the project implementer. There are features that the, that's public, such as uh, browsing and viewing projects, uh, but to contribute to the Atlas, uh, an account is needed. Digital Health Atlas is often referred to in its short form, DHA. First, you'll sign up and use your email and secure password to create an account. There are three different roles in DHA. The implementer is the person who has hands-on experience uh, and contributes their own projects to the platform. Unless you have affiliations with the Government Ministry of Health or represent a donor or an investor partner of WHO, you're most likely an implementer. There are other videos explaining how to navigate and utilize the Atlas as those uh, other personas. After your account is created, you'll be asked to fill in a bit more info. The details you provided here will be mainly for others to be able to contact you about your work on the Atlas. So this is publicly available, meaning they should not provide information that you consider sensitive. We do require the implementers to reveal their associations with an organization. If the organization is not yet captured in the database, you can add it at this point simply by selecting it from the dropdown. By selecting it here, it will be created in the system. We also require you to select your geographical association. You should make your selection here based on the country where you're mainly operating or working. This is not necessarily the same as your nationality. From here, you can fill in the info that will make it easier to contact you in case that somebody needs to get in touch with you about your project. Lastly, when you select weekly project update, you'll receive a weekly digest email with a list of all changed projects where you were involved as an author or contributor. If none of the associated projects were changed, uh, no email will be sent. First, as an implementer, you may want to explore which projects are registered in the DHA. You can do this by starting with the map view in the dashboard. We provide search and filters in order to make selections of given project details. A search will scan for text matched in any of the selected project variables, so project name, organization, location, overview, and partners and investors. Filters can be added to make a more precise selection of geographical association, WHO taxonomy and other captured data points. All the filters will be added on the top of each other, meaning the more filters, the narrower the search results. Each of these have their own filter representation. I'll go through them. Show global projects will show projects with global reach. A country selection will narrow the selection down to the given country. Selecting a region will do the same, but per region. Selecting a stage will show all the projects that is currently in this completed stage. Some Ministry of Health will opt to verify the projects associated with their country and this selection will make sure that only the verified projects are shown. Government Finance filters projects where government have provided any financial support to the project. The filters from here represent WHO classification taxonomy where specific health areas can be targeted and filtered. They can all be selected from one pop-up. So you have digital health interventions, health focus areas, health system challenges, health information systems, and the associated software. So we can make a selection. 
will apply the filter. The projects on the map is also represented in an exportable list format, accessible from the export view. You can select specific projects and create portable versions of the projects in a few different formats. Um, we provide comma separated, Excel files, and PDF. The richest format is the Excel, whereas the PDFs is made for presentable overviews. The more selection you make, the more will be exported at the given form. When you wish to contribute to DHA, you'll begin with a new project, where will be met by a questionnaire. All projects have two publication phases, a draft and a published. Drafts are not visible to anyone but the contributors and therefore the requirements to save them is also very relaxed. The published projects are considered complete representations fulfilling the WHO publication requirements. In the questionnaire, these are marked by colored asterisks where the yellow represents requirements to be able to save a draft and green represents requirement to publish. On the right side, you have shortcuts to navigate to the section of interest. It scrolls to the form in that section and scrolls back. First section is the general overview. A project name should be a unique, identifiable, human-readable name. So, the legal organization is the main affiliation of the project. The same functionality here is available, where the organization can be added to the DHA database on the fly. So, demo organization is here as before. I can add a new organization if I wish to. The country selected is the deployment area of the project. If the project has global reach, this is where that's set. The geographical scope is a further explanation of the deployment if needed. The narrative summary is the description of the project. Contact name and email needs to be somebody who is responsive, preferably an administrative member who can be contacted about the project. If the project changes hands or affiliation, this is the person who would be able to be contacted about such changes. Team members are the authors of the project. Anyone added here have edit and publication rights to the project. If the user is in DHA already, they can be searched for. If they are not yet a DHA member, they can be added here by giving the email. Once you hit the enter button, the user will be created in the system and the user will be sent an invitational email. It's marked like this. If they follow through with their registration, they can contribute to this project immediately. Team members, team viewers can view all drafts but make no changes. This role is intended for users who have an insight to certain areas of a project who can review drafts before they are published but make no changes or publications. In the implementation overview, fill in one or more health focus areas and health system challenges that this project addresses multiple 
selection can be made. Implementation overview. Fill in one or more health focus area and health system challenges that this project is uh, addressing. Multiple can be selected if needed. When you select the software, you also have to mention what kind of health intervention the software addresses. These interventions are taken from the WHO classification of digital health intervention. You can add more than one software, and for each software, you'll need to select the appropriate classification. If you know about the software which is not represented in the dropdown, you can suggest it to be added. You'll be able to see it and use it immediately, but it will only be available to others when it's approved by the DHA system admin. You can select here you can select what health information systems in the country that this project supports. Coverage of the project can be given on a national level or a subnational level. We ask to provide health workers and facility that uses it and the impacted client. If the government have contributed financially, this should be selected here. Implementing partners are to indicate if the project was implemented by a consortium of implementers. And this is a free text field. The projects are always sponsored by a WHO investment partner, making this a required field for publication. If you do not find your investor partner with this list, please use the questionnaire on the bottom right to inform us about this. This section captures the status of the project. If this is considered a research project, please select that here. Underneath, you first indicate the start date. Then you fill in the sections with all the completed stages that this project have went through. You provide the details of when the completion date is and an option on it. If you do not have the exact dates for these completion and start dates, please provide the most accurate date that you can come up with. If the project has already ended, please make a note of this here. In the technology overview, please indicate the licenses and any documentation you can Under interoperability, you can link the project to outside registries or even other DHA projects. Each published project have a publication ID that can be used for the project that is used for the registry. These can also be used as explanatory links rather than actual projects. Please choose which standard 
this project is conforming to. And if you cannot find a given standard in this list, please use the questionnaire again and let us know. The last section consists of optional questions of specific interest to a country of deployment or to your investor partner. So this can vary from no questions to several questions. And this is set by a country administrator. 